Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, we solve a lot of problems on this channel and today we're going to be looking at the reverse string problem. So this is a really interesting problem when you use the two-pointer solution to solve it and that's exactly what we will be doing today. So I hope this video helps you understand the question and let's go ahead and get started. This is a very simple problem to understand. We're given a string and we just need to um, reverse the input. So if we're given hello, we need to return O-L-L-E-H, so just reverse the strings. Um, but the key in the question is we need to do this in place. So this means that um, we cannot create any auxiliary um, array to do this transformation. Okay, so with this in mind, let's look at the solution. So to solve this problem, what I'm going to do is I will initialize two pointers. So I will um, start my pointer here. So this will be my left pointer. And I will have a pointer at the end of the uh, list here at the O. And I'm going to swap these two positions. So what do I mean when I say swap, right? So if I were to do this for this first iteration, um, what this would look like would be O, E, L, L, H. So what I did is I swapped the O and the H here. Okay, so you can see that, yeah, this does swap the first two positions, but we haven't swapped the rest of the list, right? So how do we swap um, all the items in the string? So what we do is we just move our pointer. So we move this right pointer um, over here to this next position and we move this left pointer forward. So at each step, we're going to move our left pointer forward and our right pointer backwards. And then what we do is we have the same uh, positions here, so these don't change, and this will transform to now L, L, and then E. So now we switch the L and the E, right? And this will remain the same. And you can see that we've already solved the problem because this is the output. So at each point, what we need to do is we just need to um, move our pointers and uh, go through in a while loop and solve this problem. So um, the time complexity for this is O of n because we will iterate over the entire array. And the space complexity is O of 1, which is what the question asks us to do. And at each step, we will just literally swap the two uh, positions we're at, the, the strings, the elements at those places, and we will just advance our pointers. And that's, that's it. That's all we got to do. OK, awesome. So let's look at the code. I had leak code and I just wanted to point out a few things before I start writing the code. So um, there is a reverse method that can be used to reverse strings and that's what you would generally use. Um, however, this question does say that you need to solve this question um, using O of one time and the reverse method actually uh, takes O of n time, so it creates a copy. So uh, we can't use that, unfortunately, um, to solve this question in one line. So let's go ahead and um, implement our um, two-pointer solution. So the first thing I'm going to do is say left equals zero and right will be um, the last item in the string. So we'll say uh, length, uh, string, length of string and then we'll do a minus one because uh, we're starting from zero. And we'll say while left is less than right. Um, so if left is equal to right, that means for this uh, list we will be like in this spot in the middle. Um, and that means we have done all our swapping um, and there's nothing else to do. So that's why um, the condition of our while loop is left is less than right. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to uh, swap these two uh, elements in our list. And the way we do that is, first of all, I need to stash this, um, this element somewhere and then I will replace this with the O. So um, let me show you how that's done. So I will just create another variable. Um, let's call it like hold. Hold equals. So I'm saying, hey, keep the this um, value. So I will say uh, left. I will say s at the index of left. So this is currently holding the h. And then what I'm going to do is say s um, at the index of left, which means at that position where h currently is put the element of the right. So it's going to replace the H with the O. So we'll say S right. So if we were to print this list right now, it would look like O E L L O. So there's, there would be two O's. And the last step is to uh, put the H here in this position where the O is. 
and we already stored the age in this hold variable. So what we can say is s write equals hold. And after that, what we need to do is just advance our left pointer forward. So left plus equals one and our right pointer backwards. So right minus equals one. Okay, so that's our code. Let's go ahead and submit this. Okay, awesome, accept it. Thanks guys. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And if you have a different solution, please post it in the comments below. It could be in any other language. It's just gonna help other people look at the solutions and understand and solve this problem themselves. Thanks guys, happy coding.